Hello everybody, today we will be making an FPS controller for PS4 controller. But before that, I just wanted to start with a thanks to everybody who is watching and liking my content. It's awesome knowing that you guys like what I'm doing. And now, back to the video. We will start by deleting the starter scene and adding a new plane object. Then add a cube and raise it above the plane. We will then go to the game physics tab and set the cube to character and the collisions to box. For the logic, we'll start by adding 5 joystick sensors. Then we'll add 5 motion actuators. Now connect all the logic together with an AND controller. Now with everything connected, we will go back to the joystick sensors. All of these joysticks are going to be directional and set to the left stick. And then set it to up. Now we will find the axis that the camera is facing. And we will set our motion actuator to a negative or positive 0.10. This will be our forward direction of movement. Now we will set each joystick to its designated direction and the motion values associated with that movement. Time for the hardest part of setting up the controller. We need to be able to look around, but we can't use the mouse movement actuator in this project. We will have to set up a joystick sensor and, the pro and a property sensor. This will allow us to limit how far you can look up and down. Now for the actuators. You'll add a motion and property actuator and we'll set the property actuator to add and the property sensor to not equal. Then we'll add a game property called look, set the property sensor to look and the value to 30. Then click the up arrow and set the skip to five. Do the same for the looking down, but set the property actuator to negative one and the property sensor to negative 30. If you're having trouble getting the camera to line up perfectly looking up and down, Maybe the camera flips around backwards or keeps on going when it's not supposed to. Just play around with the values from 30 to 15 or even change it higher or lower if you need to. You can also change the skip rate and that could help you as well. So I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one.